Radisson Edwardian Hotel, Manchester. Dear guest, welcome to the hotel. Please read this letter. You will get an idea of what a room attendant's job involves. Do not tell the housekeeping manager about this letter. Please just replace it in the drawer when you have read it. We tidy up the bed. Make the pillows nice and tidy. Make sure there's no dust around. Replace new linen every day. It doesn't matter if it's messy or if it's clean. This is part of the job. Toilets and bathrooms, mirror, have to be nice and clean. No dust around. We put things where they belong. Tidy up everything. Valance, pillows. Vacuuming has to be done every day. We do the function of meeting rooms on certain shifts. The head concierge says the meeting rooms are named after political radicals. He has to know for when guests ask. Where the hotel is now, it used to be a field. The names are of leaders who organised a meeting on the field in the 18th century. 19th maybe, a meeting for political reform. Cotton mill workers dressed in their Sunday best, men and women and their children. Singing the popular songs of the day. They'd call them folk songs now. Musical bands blaring. But men on horseback waded into the meeting, trampling bodies, swinging their sabres. People were killed. There is a Bamford room, a meeting room, on the first floor of the hotel. After a meeting, it has to be vacuumed, the table cleared and wiped clean. The concierge says it is named after the weaver Samuel Bamford, who was there at the gathering of the massacre in the field. Bamford described the event in a book he wrote years later. Ten minutes after the violence, the empty field was covered in dead. He saw a black banner sprawled on the ground with the word blood and the heart and two clasped hands on it all came to his life. A man's candle sprig of laurel half hidden by body socks. Women's bonnets all around, one made with floral print material. A shoe without a soul stuck deep in the foot. A trumpet, the drum, the flute. Branches of laurel. Cigarettes, cigarettes, green and white, look back. Invisible white players, maybe, or invisible 